Hello YouTube, this is Andrew. Now you may have seen some weird cases by Azza floating around on the internet, and what particularly caught my interest was both the cube and the pyramid. So of course, I had to build a computer. Now I ultimately went with the cube over the pyramid, so if I were to do hardline water cooling in the future, there'd be plenty of space for that. Now I wanted to make this video so that I could let you guys in on my experience of building inside this case because it may be intimidating to some, however it is just as simple as building inside any standard case. Now it does come with its own fans, the Aza Hurricane 2 RGB fans. They do use the standard 3 pin connectors that can be plugged into either your motherboard or the controller that it comes with. That controller has hundreds of settings, so I'm sure you will find one that you appreciate. But one thing I really appreciate about the controller is this little remote that it comes with. Of course, it is just your standard RGB remote, but it is magnetic, so once you dial in the settings that you like, you just clunk it under your case and you will never have to see it again. Now of course, this is a rather large case, so you will need the extra desk real estate in order to house it. I had to bring in an extra side desk just for it. Now, Newegg also says that if you have a radiator installed in here, it'll only fit GPUs up to 280 millimeters in length. However, I was able to fit my Gigabyte Aorus 2080Ti, which is 290 millimeters inside comfortably with at least 5 to 10 millimeters of extra space. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy a whole new graphics card if yours is more than 280 millimeters. Now, I went with the X570 Aortis Probe Wi-Fi for my motherboard, and I coupled that with the 3900 XT Ryzen 9. Of course, I've already told you I have the Aorus RTX 2080 Ti for my GPU and for my water cooling I have the Aorus 240mm AIO radiator. I took a little gamble on the RAM. I wanted to go with the G-Skills Trident Z but they did not have the clock speed for the 16 gigabyte strips that I wanted in stock so I went with Olo E. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce their name, but I'm not positive on that. They do use Micron NAND and it is RGB, so I am actually very pleased with it. Now this is all powered by a 1200 watt EVGA power supply so it will stay extra silent and cool. And if I ever decide to get a second GPU, it'll have no problem powering that. So anyways guys, I just wanted to let you guys in on my experience of how I built this case and I hope you enjoy.